Every year, beautiful gardens are ruined by slugs and snails who aren't deterred by beer traps, eggshells, coffee grinds, or other home remedies. If you really want to keep slugs and snails from destroying your garden, you need a proven treatment. And nothing is proven to be more effective than products that contain meta-active ingredient, such as Cory's and Deadline. These products are specifically developed to rid your garden of slugs and snails only, and they do not harm beneficial organisms like bees, earthworms, and beetles. Simply spread the pellets or meal evenly throughout the garden right before dusk, just before slugs and snails come out for their nightly feedings. Liquid paste is just as easy to apply. Always follow the directions on the package for proper application tips and treatments. It's really just that easy. So if you want to get serious about slug and snail control, look for products with the Meta logo. This summer's tomato harvest starts now. It's your one chance to start your seedlings in Black Gold Seedling Mix and give them the best environment for a healthy start. Every ingredient in Black Gold Seedling Mix gives delicate root systems what they need to grow and be strong for transplanting. You'll see the OMRI certification right on the bag. A successful harvest starts with a recipe for success. Black Gold Seedling Mix, sold only at local independent garden centers. For the one nearest you, log on to sungro.com. At Marquee, our goal is to enhance our customers' lives by providing quality products in a pleasant shopping environment. You can feel comfortable knowing our customer satisfaction guarantee and price match policy helps ensure every purchase you make at Marquee will be your best decision. Come visit Marquee today and experience for yourself how you too can turn your life into a lifestyle with the help of Marquee. Marquee, we're your casual living store in Tiger, Clackamas, and Salem. Well, for our very first how-to segment of this new show, I thought it'd be fun to show something that you could make in your own garden. And the how-to thing, that's just what it is. Something you can perhaps make on your own. Maybe not me make it, but somebody else could. I'm in the garden of Kelly. St Kelly, good morning. Good morning, Mike. Nice to see you here. Now, first I called this an arbor, but you corrected me. It's not an arbor. Yeah, it's mistakenly called as an arbor. Okay. It's actually a pergola. And a pergola dates back to the Roman era in Italy, and it was uh, actually a prominent feature that they would often use in a garden that makes it uh, kind of more of an inviting, uh, almost like a structure to have people come into their gardens. Oh, and this is inviting because I'm, we've lived here and I've seen this house before, and w this really makes it more inviting to see this here. But you really did it also for privacy. Yeah, that was the main, I think, issue that we had at this house is that we actually, when we stood in the kitchen, we could actually see our neighbors and obviously they saw us. Mm -hmm. So this actually was kind of positioned and built to be as a shield, if you may, from a privacy shield from our neighbors. Okay, and the street. And the street, street exactly. Too. Okay, but let's talk about uh, the things you have growing here first. So these are climbing roses. Uh-huh. And you've got one on... Each post, maybe? Or? There's all except one post. Okay, well, they would certainly fill it up and cover. So in the summertime, then this is all be covered with leaves and flowers and right. be very pretty. Okay. Yeah. The posts themselves. Hey, Elliot. Yeah. Hey, okay, have a good day at school. The, the posts themselves are what? That's a four by four. Okay. Uh, and you can do the four by four either in pressure treated wood or cedar. Um, pressure treat wood being the most probably uh, suitable for when you're going into the ground mm -hmm. because what you're going to do is to prepare for erecting the structure of the pergola you want to dig dirt up just like you're setting a fence post okay so you dig it up you put the post in mix up some concrete pour it so these it are level. in concrete these are in concrete. concrete okay all right and um, you know, it's, it gives it a lot more structure when it's in the concrete and holds it. Mm -hmm. Okay, then, so these are four by fours. This? This is a two by six cedar. Okay. And um, this particular two by six, I had a difficult time finding, uh, I believe this is 20 feet overall in length. And so I had a difficult time finding in cedar mm -hmm. 20 foot length. So I actually glued and jointed two 10 foot. This is glued right That's here, just glued. regular glue? Yeah, just no fasteners or anything, just glue. 
And is it strong? Yeah, I used a waterproof glue. I'll show you here how strong it is. Okay. Oh, you can hang from Oh, okay. It. Yeah. <laughs> That's strong then. Yeah. Okay. okay. And so this is a, what, uh, once again, this size is? Two by six. Okay, and then across the top? Those are all so two by, two by six. sixes. All yes. right. And then up here? And then on the top, they're just simple one by one pieces that, you know, all this wood actually can come from any home and garden center, um, one of the big boxes. And it's uh, basically there to be as a structure for the, the roses so they don't fall through right. on the ceiling. Okay, and let's just say, I mean, you're, you're pretty handy, but like how long did this take to make, like start to finish? Oh, I, I made this in, uh, easily in a weekend. One weekend. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And price-wise, maybe? It just uh, You're everything? looking at about maximum $500 for, for this size of structure. Okay. And... This, this, the coating on here? It's a product that's called penafin. All right. And it comes from the base of it from a Brazilian nut. And they extract the oils from the nut. Okay. And it's commonly used on decks. And uh, also, obviously, we used it on, on this well, pergola. It looks great because it makes it all look the same and ties it in. Okay. Yeah. Kelly, thank you very much. Great thank idea you. for a homeowner, for a weekend project. Yeah, well, thank you. Thank you. For a complete listing of all the plants you've seen and the places we've been, go to MikeDarcy.com. Why do people like to come to Farmington Gardens? I come here because you often have plants I can't find anywhere else. In fact, the lavenders I bought, I bought a Q Red and a Portuguese Giant. I've never seen them anywhere else. Discover thousands of varieties of plants grown right here in Northwest soil. Great choice, great prices, and advice from the experts. Farmington's very good at helping me find the right plant because they truly listen to what I'm trying to do with my garden. Just a short drive out Farmington Road in Alola. Farmington Gardens, we're growing for you. This summer's tomato harvest starts now. It's your one chance to start your seedlings in Black Gold Seedling Mix and give them the best environment for a healthy start. Every ingredient in Black Gold Seedling Mix gives delicate root systems what they need to grow and be strong for transplanting. You'll see the OMRI certification right on the bag. A successful harvest starts with a recipe for success. Black Gold Seedling Mix, sold only at local independent garden centers. For the one nearest you, log on to sungro.com. Hey, this is Mike Darcy. Just a reminder, don't forget I have a radio show on KXL 750 on the AM dial every Saturday morning, 9 to noon.